All right, what's up guys? So welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be recording a video and teach you guys how to get crystal essences. So basically, as you can see in my inventory, I got 28 crystal essences and I have 10 crystal keys. We're gonna be teaching you guys everything you need to know to get this custom Nitrin sword. This is for the mist breathing sword kind of. And yeah, it's nothing too special, but it's like a handle. But some other swords are actually really, really cool. My personal favorites are the Thunder Nitrin and the Wind Nitrin, but they all cost the same to make. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get the crystal key, how to fight the crystal boss, and how how to craft your Nitrin. So let's get straight into the video, guys. Okay, so starting off the video, we are going to be at Slayer HQ. This is where you're gonna be doing all your crafting and to get your Slayer Nitrin, of course. So um, I'm pretty sure if you guys are watching this video, you guys should have finished Final Selection because if you guys haven't, you definitely wanna go finish that first so that you can actually craft your uh, regular Nitrin because that's needed to craft your custom Nitrin. So you say you're gonna to wanna to forge the item and here you're gonna be presented with a bunch of Nitrins, the mist, the wind, flame, water, thunder, basically for all the breathing. So you can choose whatever you want, Let's say you're thunder breathing and you like the water nitrin like style, you can get the water nitrin. It's gonna still give the same buffs, it's just, you know, different cosmetic or different aesthetic. So the main thing we're actually looking for is crystal essence. So in order to get crystal essence, you must fight the crystal boss. And to fight the crystal boss, you need to go onto the miscellaneous tab right here and you'll be presented with a crystal key. So if you click the crystal key, this is what's needed to actually um, basically open up a door to fight the crystal boss. So this is the main requirements. You're gonna wanna try to get at least one crystal key because it requires only one crystal essence to actually forge a forge a sword or a nitrin um after that you know you can i guess go trade your other crystal essences if you get any more so right here let's talk about these resources so demon horns you can go anywhere any cave and just fight demons and they have a chance to drop demon horns pretty standard you should have a lot of demon horns actually left over after finishing final selection do not sell your demon horns because you want to save them for crystal keys so next up we have sun ore i'll teach you guys how to get sun ore in just a minute because basically it, there's a cave there's a cave where you fight the boss and in that cave there's already like ore spots that you can mine so don't even worry about sun ore because i'll teach you guys when we're in the cave okay so the next two requirements are the demon collar and the green horn so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this today but before we actually get that started basically the green horn you get that from crow missions and the demon collar is a boss base no a mini boss right next to the rengoku trainer so i'm gonna lead you guys to both of those locations and show you guys how to farm them and get the horns pretty easily so first off let me show you guys how to get the green horn so the green horn what you want to do is activate this crow toggle and make sure your crow is giving you quests so just wait until the um the green demon quest comes out because there is a quest that the crow randomly gives and he has a chance to give you the green um basically demon boss or something like that so it's going to give you a quest i'll show you guys when i get it Okay, so as you can see right here, you have been assigned uh, to defeat the green demon. So this is a crow quest, and basically you accept it, and what you will do is um, it'll basically show you where the green demon is. So the green demon, it's pretty far away. So yeah, um, just make your way over to the green demon, and you will basically be able to kill it. It's not too hard, honestly. You can just spam M ones and it dies. So yeah, I'll roll a clip of me actually fighting it, but yeah, that's what you guys do to get over to the green demon.
if you guys don't know where Rengoku is, I'll have a video linked on the top right hand corner of the screen and you guys can just check that out and just find where Rengoku is because I have a video for basically where all the trainers are. And I'm trying to keep this video pretty short. So right here, you want to get to Rengoku and then kind of go parallel to him. Actually, not parallel, perpendicular to him and then run straight and you're going to basically make your way all the way over to the Axe Demon and the Axe Demon, I'll have a clip of uh, me fighting it basically. It's not too hard and um, you can definitely solo it. Not too hard over here. Yeah, basically just parallel to Rengoku. Come into this cave. You can also farm demon horns here while farming the Axe Demon. So the Axe Demon spawns all the way back there. And um, yeah, I'll roll the clip of me fighting him. All right, so once you guys have completed all that stuff, you guys should have at least one green horn from the green demon, and you guys should have a demon color from the axe demon. So that's two requirements done. And the demon horns, you guys should have 10 from found selection. So that's another requirement done. And last but not least is sun horn. So I'm gonna bring you guys over to the cave where you actually fight the crystal demon because there's um there's some, I guess, ores in there that you can mine for sun horn. So just follow me, we're in Okuya. Uh, let me actually be a little more specific. So this is the hair salon dude. Um, Just come over to hair salon dude and this is, um. This is the entrance because there's two entrances one over there and one over here and just go to the hair salon entrance so you kind of want to follow this path and uh, i'll fast forward real quick Okay, so Okuya Cavern, this is the exact cave that you're going to be fighting the Crystal Demon for. So basically, before we actually go over to the location of the Crystal Demon or the door that you need to open uh, using the Crystal Key, let me bring you guys to like some ore spots to basically mine some sun ore. So over here in this corner, there's an ore spot and there's two more. Let me bring you guys over there. So this is where you're going to get your sun ore. And you guys, after all that, you guys should have the required amount to get, um, I guess, Crystal Keys. So yeah, sun ore right here. I'll actually mine some myself too. Okay, so that's an ore spot and there's two more ore spots hidden around here and there's usually a demon guarding it. So be careful. Let me see if there's a demon in here. Nope, no demons, but here's some ore spots. And what you want to do after this is climb up here. And after you've climbed up here, basically there is going to be a huge door and some crystals here to indicate the crystal demon. So yeah, after you guys have gotten all the sun ore, the green horn, the demon color, the regular demon horns, and 500 yen, you guys should go craft your crystal key at the Slayer HQ. And after you've crafted it, um, as you can see, it'll be in your inventory. You don't have to equip or anything. After you've crafted it, you just want to press E here and insert your key. The door will open and you're going to be fighting the crystal boss. And after you've completed the crystal boss, he's going to drop a crystal essence, which is used to craft your sword. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys a clip of me and my friends fighting him. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy.
And that's about it. Just all that. Get your crystal essence, you know, get some sun ore, get some money, and uh, you're set. You can get your custom nature in. Looks really, really cool. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. If you guys enjoyed it, of course, be sure to like, subscribe, and peace out.